Hi everyone. Today we'll show you how to set up SAML authentication in Splunk. Before we dive into the configuration, let's first understand what SAML is and why it's important. SAML stands for Security Assertion Markup Language. It's an open standard used to exchange authentication and authorization data between parties, specifically between an identity provider and a service provider. In simpler terms, SAML enables single sign-on SSO, meaning users can log into multiple applications with a single set of credentials. When you configure SAML authentication in Splunk, you're enabling this seamless login process, allowing your users to authenticate with an identity provider like Okta, Azure AD, or OneLogin, instead of directly with Splunk. Now let's see how SAML authentication works in Splunk using Simple Flowchart. When a user tries to log into Splunk, Splunk redirects them to an identity provider like Okta or Azure AD. The user enters their credentials at the IDP, which verifies them. Next, the IDP sends a SAML assertion to Splunk, containing the user's details and roles. Splunk verifies the assertion and logs the user in with the correct permissions. In short, the user logs in through the IDP, Splunk verifies the SAML response, and grants access based on the roles provided by the IDP. Before we start configuring SAML authentication in Splunk with Okta, let's quickly review the prerequisites to ensure you're set up for a smooth integration. First, you'll need a Splunk instance. Additionally, you'll need administrator access in Splunk so you can configure the SAML settings and integrate it with Okta. Next, you'll need an Okta account with administrator privileges. This allows you to create and manage the SAML 2.0 application in Okta for Splunk. Once you have access to both systems, you're ready to begin the configuration process. Now, let's verify that these prerequisites are in place before we proceed. First, we will check whether you have admin access to your Splunk instance. First, make sure your Splunk instance is running. Open a browser and navigate to your Splunk instance's web interface. You should be able to access the login page. Next, verify your admin access in Splunk. To do this, log in to Splunk with an administrator account. Once logged in, check that you can access the settings menu from the top navigation bar. If you see the authentication or access control settings, it means you have admin privileges and are ready to proceed. Next, we will check whether you have admin access to your Okta account. Log in to your Okta admin console and ensure you have administrative rights. You should be able to create and configure applications, including setting up the SAML 2.0 application for Splunk. Now we have all the prerequisites ready, so let's go ahead and configure SAML authentication in Splunk using Okta. First, log in into your Okta admin console. Currently in my Okta instance, there are no users except my Okta admin user. So first we will create some users and groups and assign those users to respective groups. I will create three users called Splunk Admin, Splunk Power User, and Splunk User, and then we'll also create three groups called Splunk underscore Admin, Splunk underscore Power, Splunk underscore User, and then we'll add Splunk Admin User to Splunk underscore Admin Group, Splunk Power User to Splunk underscore Power Group, and Splunk User to Splunk underscore User Group. With this setup, it's easy to maintain and assign roles to users in Splunk. Navigate to left side menu bar and expand the directory and select people. As you can see, I have only one user. Now let's create a user by clicking add person button under people and type first name, last name, username which is email used to sign in, and check the box for I will set password, and type your required password, and uncheck the box for user must change password on first login and click save. Follow the same steps to create other two users, Splunk Power User and Splunk User. Now again navigate to left side menu and select the groups under the directory. Now click on add group button and enter the group name, Splunk underscore admin, and click on save. Follow the same steps to create other two groups, Splunk underscore power and Splunk underscore user. Now click on Splunk underscore admin group and select assign people button and click on plus button Splunk admin user and click on done button. Follow the same steps and add Splunk power user to Splunk underscore power group and Splunk user to Splunk underscore user group. 
Now log into your Splunk web interface and select Settings drop-down and select Authentication Methods under Users and Authentication and click on SAML and then select Configure Splunk to use SAML. Once it loads, it will open a pop-up. Click on the Download File button and save it according to your preference. Open the folder where you have downloaded the metadata file and open the VS code in that folder where you can do the same steps in any code or text editor. Open the spmetadata.xml file and create new file called splunk.cert. Add a certificate header called Begin Certificate and copy the content from the SP metadata file and paste it after the header and add the end certificate footer and save the file. This certificate is later required to configure the Splunk SAML application in Okta. Now, open Okta Admin Dashboard, navigate to left side menu and select Applications under Application Menu. Now, click on Browse App Catalog and search for Splunk Enterprise and select it. Click on Add Integration and Change Application Label if you want. Enter your Splunk Frontend URL and click Next. Now select the Role drop-down as Matches Regex. This will match with your groups and all groups starts with Splunk underscore. So I will give it as Splunk underscore dot asterisk. Then check on Enable Single Logout checkbox and click on Browse Certificate and select Splunk dot cert we created before. Enter Entity ID according to your wish, I gave Splunk SAML, and then scroll down and click on Done. Now let's add the groups we previously created to the Okta application. Click on Assign button, and click Assign to Groups. Now click on Assign button for all Splunk groups which will add its users to this app, and then click on Done. Click on Sign on tab in the top, and then scroll down and click on More Details. Copy the metadata URL, and open a new tab, and open that URL. It will open a metadata XML page. Right-click on the page, and select Save, as in Click Save. Now, go back to Splunk SAML configuration page. Click on Select File button for metadata XML file, and most of the fields are automatically updated with this action. Now, enter Entity ID same as what you have in the Okta app. Scroll down check sign authmrikist. Scroll down and enter your Splunk web URL in place of fully qualified domain name or IP of the load balancer. Enter your Splunk load balancer port number if you are using, else enter zero and select save. Now let's add groups to Splunk and assign roles to them. Click on new group and add Splunk underscore admin in group name and assign admin role to it, and then click on save. Follow the same steps to other two user as well. Well, that's it, pretty clear right? Now let's see the demo of how Splunk login takes place after enabling the SAML authentication. Open an incognito tab in your browser and open your Splunk web interface. Now instead of opening a normal Splunk login page, it will redirect you to an Okta login page. Now enter your username created in Okta and click Next. Enter your user password and click Verify. As it's a first-time login, it will ask to set up MFA using Okta Verify application. Download Okta Verify application from the App Store and scan the QR and add it. Do the same for other users as well. Once Okta confirms your identity, it will send in SAML assertion to the Splunk. Let's you log into Splunk front end. As you can see, I logged in as Splunk admin user, which I created in Okta. Now let's verify all the user and its assigned roles. Now, navigate to Settings and select Users. Here you can see, I have created three users in Okta, Splunkadmin at MyDomain.com, and added it to Splunk underscore admin group, 
and in Splunk I assigned admin role to Splunk underscore admin group. Similarly for Splunk power user and Splunk user I assign power and user roles. And that's it. We've successfully configured SAML authentication in Splunk. Now your users can log in with single sign-on, making authentication simpler and more secure. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more helpful tips and tutorials. Feel free to like, comment, and share with your network.